How are you? Fine. <laughs> this is my very good friend, Joy. I want you to attend to her as you've helped me in business, protection, and marriage security. Exactly. That is the reason why I'm here, Dr. Wanda. I don't have problem with money. I don't have problem with money. In fact, my children's children can never suffer again with the kind of money I have. <laughs> but... My only fear in life is losing my husband, chief, to those vultures called women who have turned this office into their homes. Please, please, Dr. Wanda, help me. <laughs> Bring your left hand. <clears throat> Sadness. Uh, sorry, Joy. Make Kuna thank your friend we bring you here. <laughs> you see, this place where you come so, now the home of solution. President, they come here. Here? You doubt me? Oh, I'm not doubting. Governors, ministers, senators, international people, foreign head of states. Uh, before we begin talk, <laughs> you go see wonder. Take. You go take this one bath. Now the thing go wash all the attack where enemy don't put for your body. <laughs> Thank you. You go come back on Saturday. Come collect number one marriage security charm. The one where I call cement powder. <laughs> cement. You see? That cement powder. It go cement you and your husband for 500 years. Yes. Chief! <laughs> that particular one. Mention any amount. I'll pay for it. Even if you and your husband nourish 500 years before you die, it go still cement you for heaven. That 500 years must complete. How much is it, Dr. One? How much is it? Look, forget about money. You go and use this one and come back on Saturday. Come give me a result. <laughs> Dr. Wanda. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. 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 What do you they look for now? Go back. You see, see I get visitor. You see, see I get visitor. Go back. Ah! See blood for your mouth. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Bye bye, doctor. But when Aunt Joy returned on that Saturday, something else was awaiting her. I want to make you take this one, cool your mind, before I go talk with her. Okay. That's right. Dr. Wanda, what is it you want to say? Yes, I go go straight now. I go go straight to the point. You see, uh, the truth be say, I like you, and I want me and you to be lovers. What? Uh, look, uh, Joy, the moment, the first moment when you come here, now in my head, don't scatter. My mind, no rest again. I know they sleep. Joy, please, I, I love ah! you. Ah, don't touch me. Ah. <sighs> Dr. Wanda, please, let's restrict this relationship to doctor, doctor and patient. Ah, ah. I love my husband so much. I can't give in to a thing like this. Hey, Joy. Now help, I won't help you. You see, the medicine we I won't give you, you know, go fit work unless me and you they in conjunction, in collaboration for bed. You know, go fit work unless we they in collaboration for bed. Now you go make the medicine get effective. Now you go make her work proper, proper. Then I'm very sorry. I don't want that kind of thing. Keep it to yourself. So, can I have the cement powder? Please. <laughs> Joy, if you like say you love this your husband, where was? So very much. Nah, promise now, nah, promise. 
I go give you the cement powder where I promise you. Uh, but you wait. <clears throat> Take this. They can rub your face for night. <laughs> if you use this medicine, if your husband no love you, as a coach and love football, as politician love as a work, no call me Dr. Wonder the Great again. <laughs> Can't give me any sorry after seven days. <laughs> Dr. Wonder, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Wonder. <laughs> and so, when Auntie Joy returned to the spiritualist seven days later, she was singing a different tune. I don't hear you. I know, say your husband go don't love you well, well, after rubbing my powder for your face. Dr. Wonder, in fact, Chief's love for me has gone down. I had his dating one society lady now. <laughs> uh, Joy, that one go stop. I they come. Yeah. Which kind of problem? Hey, which kind of problem be this? So as this woman find rich, I no go feel Mariam because in husband they are life. If Calabash face downward, we feel turn her up. But if he no agree, open up. We go break him. That's all. Joy, joy, my dear. Yeah. <clears throat> joy. Now the number one cement powder. We I promise you the first time, maybe this. <laughs> Just put them for a food. The love between you and your husband, it go past that of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Doctor Wonder, darling. Thank you very much. Be careful with this medicine, no. Make you not show anybody this medicine. Because this medicine we I give you so, I they prepare them for governor's wife. We won't become first lady, president wife, ministers, international people, <laughs> and they, they pay heavily dollars and naira for it. <laughs> for you, I'm not going to collect cover. Joy! Yes, Chief, dear. Hurry up now. My mouth is salivating by the smell of your food. Delicious. I trust you. No woman can ever beat your cooking. Ah. <laughs> Chief, 
Yeah, here you go again. You and flattery. Let me get you some water to drink. Thank you, Dr. Wanda. From now on, it's Romeo and Juliet for Chief and I. Oh, we shall soon plan a second was how Auntie Joy became a widow. Chief died of food poison. Auntie Joy lamented as visitors consoled her. It's okay. God. I have made a mess of myself and of my life. Chief didn't deserve to die. He really loved me. But I was worried. I worried myself over nothing. Just nothing. I was searching for something that was never missing. I will forever blame myself. It's okay. Auntie Joy. God give it, God take it. And the joy is alright. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. We will come back. When the sympathizers left, Auntie Joy was left all alone in her tears. Dr. Wanda also came to commensurate with her. But guess what he had to say? Joy! Joy! I hear and see the chief die. Ah! He pay me, yo! Oh. He pay me so tear and off it chop. Dr. Wanda, mm. thanks for coming. Hey, don't mention. <coughs> hey, Joy, stop crying now. Chief don't choose in destiny. Your life must continue. Uh, Joy, as the chief don't die now, I want you to make you reconsider my proposal. As I come now, I won't marry you. Uh, I know how you feel. I know say it will surprise you, say, now this time of sadness, now they talk about marriage. Your rebuff proverb say the thing where we live for grand. Now I ain't go to the job. I know want to make other men come they show interest before me. That's why I talk amo. I be the thing we are talk no good. Joy. Joy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you said, 
the barrier between us is removed. <laughs> and there's no point wasting any more time. That's right. Go ahead and fix the date. I'm all yours. The happiest day of my life. The day where the woman where I love in agreed to marry me. Ah, destiny. Oh, destiny. Ah, destiny. Can never be changed at all. Destiny. Oh, de ah. You can enjoy me. I get medicine. Oh. Ah. And so, barely six months after Chief's death. Auntie Joy and the spiritualist were joined together as husband and wife in a very colorful traditional marriage. My pity. Una don't become husband and wife today. Our forefather will be with all of you. Ashe. Ashe. So that nobody will put this marriage as under. Ashe. 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 Like a dutiful wife on one fateful day, Auntie Joy served the spiritualist his meal. Amala, plus a goosey soup. <laughs> My favorite dish. I hope you like it. Ah. <laughs> Anything from you, not like honey and sugar. <laughs> uh, stand up. <laughs> A good soup. I can't do without it. Ah, your former husband did enjoy it. This food is excellent. Excellent. want you to love me some more. That's why I added the remaining cement powder into your soup. A cement wedding? Cement wedding? That cement powder not be love, mercy. Now, boys, I did not get remedy. Ah. <coughs> Drink some water. My wife don't kill me. Hey! My dear. I don't die. You. I won't die. You. I don't know to die. Oh, what is happening here? I was hearing some shouting. My wife don't buy with you. What's going on? He was the one who gave me the love message for my husband, my late husband. And I used to remember it for his soul. Doctor Wanda, is it true? Yes, sir. You went back, yo. story. You see? You see the reason why I don't go to any spiritualist? Uh, well, 
Just because one or two of them are bad, this does not mean all of them are bad. All the same, I will respect your wishes and not bother you about it anymore. Thank you. I should go to bed now and leave you to rest because of the baby. Um, um, by the way, Yomi, I'll find a place for my training as a seamstress. And I will need 10,000 Naira for the registration. Oh, all right. That is no problem. I will give it to you when I return from the office tomorrow. Okay. Bless you. Right. Thank you. It's all right. Good night. understand why your me is suddenly acting strange these days. Don't be surprised, my dear. His true nature is just coming out. Like your father would say, read between the lines. Once beaten, twice shy. Well, I won't be caught off guard again. I've made up my mind on what to do. Yes, Prof. It's time for the ultimate test. The evil in your household is about to be revealed. Is that so, Prof? Yes, Mr. Yomi Benson. You remember the dog I told you to keep? Do you still have it? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. If you get home tonight, before you eat your food, First, give it to the dog to eat. Why, Prof? I don't understand. Just do as I say, Mr. Yami Benson. Okay. okay. First, ask for which of your wives that cook the food before you give it to the dog. You will see some manifestations. Yes, Prof. Mr. Yomi Benson. Yes. Mr. Yomi Benson. Yes, Prof. How many times did I call it? Three times. Good. One of your wives has planned to kill you tonight. Yes, tonight. <laughs> Normally wait for Fujabi to come before you eat. Honey, I don't understand you these days. You're acting so strangely lately. Just wait. You'll see. Ah, Fujabi. Come here. Me? I hope there's no problem. Sit down. I want the two of you to be present while this is done. Now, I want you to watch me carefully. I believe this food was prepared by one of you. May I know who did? Yomi, I prepared the food. What is this all about? First, you won't eat at the dining table. And now, you even refuse to touch the food. If you don't feel like eating the food, tell me. I'll take it away. Not yet. Now, 
I'm going to feed Jack, my dog, this food before I eat it. But why? Watch me. Watch me. Do, be. I want you to go inside, pack your things, and get out of this house. But you don't me. butt me. You me. So you want to kill me ah. and inherit my property because you can no longer control my destiny with your charm. You want to kill me, eh? Huh? Isn't it? Well, ah. well, your plan has failed. Show me. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Listen, woman, get inside. Get, me. Get, hey. get inside. You're you're me. I'm sorry, ma'am. There is absolutely nothing to discuss. I have shown true love, true love to Adobe. Ask her. And now she wants to pay me by killing me. First, I found a diabolic, a diabolic red on in her box. A charm she used to control my destiny. You didn't think I would find out about that, did you? And now an attempt on my life. Adobe. Since when did you become a killer? Have you ever seen me with anything diabolical in your father's house? Ma, I'm doing this quietly because I don't want my family members to hear of it. I have to go now. Yomi, please. Yomi, please. We can still sort this thing out. I'm sorry, ma. My decision is final. I'm 
<laughs> How are you? Fine. <laughs> ah, it's been quite some time. How are the members of your household? Oh, fine, fine. Good. And how is Auntie and the children? Ah, we are fine by the grace of God. <laughs> Have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so, Uncle, how is Abuja? And uh, what are you doing here in Lagos? Uh, to see us, I suppose. Well, actually, I'm here on official assignment. I'll be going back to Abuja this evening with the last flight. Oh, that's not fair now. I thought you'd be spending the week with us. Well, uh, I don't have that kind of luxury yet. I only came in to see how you're doing. I would have loved to go to your house to see your wife. By the way, how is she? Who? Adobe, of course. Who else? Uncle Nusa, haven't you heard? I sent her out of my house with some time ago. I never want to see her again. What? How, how? I mean, why? It's a long story. Can you believe that Adobe has become diabolic? She poisoned my food. She tried to kill me. If not for a spiritual insight, you would not have met me here. Oh, Yomi. Yomi, has it come to this already? You don't believe me, huh? A man who goes to war with a weapon he cannot use may end up shooting himself. Shooting himself? What do you mean by that? You mean you let yourself easily be influenced by people, and that is a major problem. Those you think are your friends are busy plotting your downfall. <laughs> Uncle, this is not them say. I experienced it myself. How did you expect that you can live in the same house with two women? Two women? And those your family members who were busy agitating for a second wife, where are they now? No, huh? no Uncle, don't, don't say that. They meant well for me. They only wanted me to have children and not to destroy my marriage. Open your eyes, Yomi. Open your eyes. I, I would like to make a confession to you. Since the day you had your house party, your sister Shade, had been very bitter with you. What? She was angry. She was angry because you did not even mention her name once in your speech and has vowed to ruin your happiness. No, no, no. I don't understand. A word, they say, is enough. I have a plane to catch. Uh, thanks for calling, Uncle. The pleasure is mine. Don't forget what I told you. Think about it. It's 
Welcome to Fossville Luxury Hotel. At Fossville Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24 hour power supply, full air condition, free international calls, free time pumping service, and free car battery charge. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fossville Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Liraba Michele off Raja Rasaki Road, First Estate, Amuo, or the First Start Village. For more information or reservation, please call us. 080-75-78-7135 or 080-99-90-0601. You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.forcevhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Forcevhotel Hotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.